This happens to be a Panasonic top loader. Anyway, the principle is the same for other washing machines. Now, as you can see what has happened here, if you look at the drum, can you see how much free play the drum has? I mean, if you look at that, look at how much motion it's got. It's got so much motion that this drum has been whacking the sides here and it's actually broken the plastic uh, shell that surrounds this drum. Now, just having a look at that nut there, you can use a flat screwdriver like that and turn it. Um, I've pre-loosened it, or you can use a socket. This is an impact wrench and you can unscrew it. Now, you might find that it's very tight. Now, to remove this often is quite difficult because it's been sitting there probably for years and uh, it is actually fastened itself pretty tightly there. So this is how I got mine now. Gripping it, uh, it wouldn't come out. I couldn't grip it. I have some, some nylon rope or washing line, whatever you want to use. And I've just depressed it in there. Now, I tried to do this and pull it out, but uh, this didn't work either. So then I used a chisel. So I took a chisel, and as you can see, it's got a bit of a beveled mouth. And I just inserted it there, and then I took a hammer, and I gently tapped around the opening there. So as you can see, I'm going to tap it. There you can see the cog here. Right, so there you can see, uh, I had to hit it over here. Uh, it did damage the threads just a little bit, not, uh, not a lot. And uh, this can still go back in there. Uh, pretty, it's still pretty tight actually. Um, so just if you do slot that in, know that it's gonna be quite a mission to get it out. You would have to hit it from this side and tap it out. And now you can go ahead and move the tub nut. Uh, this is a 38. I recommend you use a impact wrench. So this is the tub nut. Uh, very hard to get this out if you don't use an impact wrench. That sheer pulsating action, that knocking, allows you to get this nut off. Right, there's a little washer here. Got the washer out. To get the drum out, I have to take this cover off. Now every washing machine is different, but basically you're going to be looking for some screws around the side. This will come off and then you can get to the drum. This particular washing machine has some little covers here. See, I just remove the cover and then I just unscrew it. Right, you can see this thing is now loosened. Uh, just obviously this is unplugged, just make sure it's unplugged. Right, before you take this off, it's just a good idea to tie this, um, this glass lid down. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to lift it a little bit and you can see there with the tape, I'm just taping this lid down. As you can see, if it does open, it won't. Slam, open, close, open, close. Now I'm going to lift up the lid, but keeping in mind there are wires and there might be a pipe or two. So I'm just going to do it gently. And uh, don't just go like this, you need to lift it up. And you need to make sure that when you lift, you're not going to tear any plastic. So I just lift it a bit and just go gently. Now having a look at the back, you can see there's a wire there and you don't want to tug on that wire too tightly. So you might find there's some cable uh, clamps there, cable ties. So I'm just going to put my hand in there and loosen the cable ties. I just slotted that in an available slot there. If you don't have one there, it's fine. Just find somewhere where you can just hold the lid up. Now if you have a look in there, you can see there's a cable uh, system, cable management system. I've opened it and there's another one there. I'm just going to open it. That's freed up this wire a little bit. So now I don't need to take the lid completely off. I just need to shift it upwards. Okay, to remove the drum, I just need to remove this plastic cover. There's a couple of screws. Make sure they don't fall inside when you unscrew them. That's one, two.
All right, so in this case, there were eight screws. And I'll just take that cover off. And just having a look at this damage, I mean, look how much this uh, drum had been scratching on this cover. All right, so this drum should come out. You might find there's a washer there. And just pull it straight out. <laughs> 